Hey everyone, it's Matt. Welcome to another episode of What's Up Fort Mac for the month of June. This month we have someone very special here to help us ring in Pride Month. We have Mitchell Bowers here from Pride YMM. Come on, Mitch. Hey, Matt. Hey, how's it going? Good, you? Oh, amazing. Now, you're here to help us do something real special on this episode? Yeah, well, I saw a couple months ago you tried to come for my gig <laughs> and trying to impersonate Ashley. That's true. It's me, Ashley. It's me, Ashley. So uh, today we're going to actually do it for real. Oh. Put you in full drag. Well. Are you ready? I'm ready as I, as I possibly could be. Let's do this. Now introducing Maddie McMurray. What's up Fort Mac? Maddie McMurray here to tell you what's going on in the region this month during Pride Month. So let's kick it off with Pride YMM. Hi, I'm Mitch. I'm the chair of Pride YMM. I'm here to share with you some of the events we have going on for Pride Month. On June 21st, we are going to have a Two-Spirit Showcase. So following all of the Indigenous Day people uh, events happening at Heritage Village. Just come on over next door to Keanu College and we're going to be featuring some two-spirit talents including Beth from Canada's Drag Race and Ella from Call Me Mother as well as some other amazing two-spirit artists. Join us at Heritage Shipyard on Saturday, June 24th for our main Pride Festival. There'll be entertainment, games, fun, like you wouldn't believe it's our big event of the year. The last Pride YMM event of Pride Month is going to be at at the Heritage Shipyard, Saturday, June 24th, that evening from 8 to 1 a.m. We are going to be having our after party with an amazing DJ, some amazing drag talent. It's gonna be just like the patio party, only more gay. My name is Colleen Stewart and I'm with the board of Pride YMM. Uh, this month, we have a lot of things going on for Pride Month in Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo. The first is our opening ceremony. So that's Sunday, June 4th. Um, there are two of them. The first one is at 12 o'clock noon at the Keanu College. And then the second one is at the Kiam Park downtown on Franklin Avenue. Next item that we have for Pride Month is just following the opening ceremonies. That's at the new shop, Mini Green Havens, and that's a coffee social, so it's inviting everyone to come out, meet new friends, probably for about an hour and a half, and that's just located right across from the Alley YMM, uh, across from Cora's as well. Another really fun event we have this month is the Queens versus Queer softball game down at Mac Island at Legacy Dodge Place here. Um, I think everyone is going to have a really good time. We have some good competition starting already, so we need all of you to come out and help support your team. Hi, I'm Annie Rivers. I'm on the board of directors for Pride YMM. Uh, our next event is on June 10th, Community Rainbow Space Training. This is an opportunity for individuals to come and take the Rainbow Space Training that the community offers, uh, where you can learn how to make your spaces safe for queer folks in the community. Uh, our next event is Queer Prom, uh, June 16th at uh, 7 o'clock at the Stonebridge Hotel. Um, really excited about this event for all of our queer youth who uh, would like to have a prom where they can feel free and safe to be themselves, show up how they want. Uh, our next event is on June 18th, or Daddy's Day. Uh, we're going to have a queer swim at Mac Island from 11 to 5. Um, really excited about this event too. This is, uh, we're making the space safe for all queer people, uh, gender non-conforming. Uh, on top of all the events that Pride is hosting, our partner organizations have a ton of other amazing events for you to check out in the community. You can see them all right here or on our website. Wow, a lot's going on with Pride this month. Now let's go check in with Keanu Theatre. What's up Fort Mac, Ashley here from Keanu Theatre and I'm here to tell you about all the amazing things happening here this June. Dance season is finally here and we have several local dance companies hitting the Keanu Theatre stage to show off their stellar dance moves. Be sure to check out tickets.keanu.ca for all of the event information. We're very excited that Pride YMM will be having several events here in the Keanu Recital Theatre. Be sure to check out Pride YMM's website for all of the details. And last but not least, are you looking to do something creative? 
Perhaps you want to have a performance on one of our stages or use one of our studios for classes, workshops, or maybe even dance. Be sure to get in touch with me at Keanu Theatre and I can give you all of the details on how to rent one of our spaces. My contact info can be found at keanu.ca slash theatre. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful time and I hope we see you at one of our shows. Have a great June. Wow, a lot's going on this month. Now let's go check in with Swamp Rat Experience. Hi, Hannah here from Swamp Rat Experience, coming to tell you all about the amazing things we have happening in June. Starting off on June 10th and 11th, we are hosting individual auditions for Rent. Super exciting. If you don't have any theater experience, that's not a problem. We welcome anyone over the age of 18 to come and try out. Go to our website, swampratexperience.com slash rent. You'll find the production guide, which contains all the information on what to prepare, the cast list, who's all involved in the artistic team, as well as important dates and other information. On June 17th, we are super excited to host our very first Pride Cabaret, taking place at the Keanu Recital Theatre. This is a non binary variety show featuring a lot of emerging artists in our community that have been working with our director and music director Zach and Jenny through one-on-one -on -one coaching and an ensemble workshop. Um, afterwards on June 24th we will be present at the Pride YMM festival down at Heritage Village. Can't wait to see you there. And then finishing off our month we know how nerve-wracking auditions can be. I'm super nervous whenever I audition. So to help find a new way of inviting new people into our theater community, we are hosting two group auditions on June 28th and 29th. You can find all the sign-up materials for that at swampredexperience.com slash rent. And no, you don't have to have any previous experience in any sort of theater, or arts, or singing, or performance. If you're over the age of 18, we would love to see you there. Take care, Fort McMurray. See you at the theater. Wow, now let's check in with Arts Council Wood Buffalo. Thanks, Matt. My name is Emma Carter, and I'm the Engagement Coordinator with Arts Council Wood Buffalo. And my name is Akshaya Lakshmi, and I'm the Communications Manager at Arts Council Wood Buffalo. What a month! We are so excited to tell you all about everything we have going on in June. First things first, you can join me and Akshaya in the Arts Council office for Tea Tuesday on Tuesday, June 6th. We'll have tea, we'll have treats. You can come by any time between noon and 4.30 to ask your arts-related questions and get a little face time with the Arts Council team. Next up, we will be inviting two artists to our region. Um, interdisciplinary visual artist Danielle Piper, who is joining us as a part of the Suncor Indigenous Artist Program, as well as Louise Casemore, who is a playwright and theater artist, who will be joining us as a part of the Artist in Residence Street. They will both be hosting a variety of workshops in our region. Danielle will be hosting a mini landscape fiber art workshop in Port Chipoyan and a fish scale art workshop in Anzac. Louise will be hosting two workshops called Let's Get Weird and Let's Get Critical, which will be focusing on different aspects of theater and playwriting. Finally, at the end of their time in our region, you can join us for their final showcases. So join us at the Keanu Theater and Arts Center Art Gallery on June 28th and 29th for Danielle's final exhibition, and come back again on the 29th for Louise's final presentation of her work in the Recital Theater. Last but not least, we have Buffy's nominations closing on June 15th at noon. So please don't forget to nominate your favorite local artist to win a Buffy's award this year. All right, is that everything, Akshaya? I think that's all. Awesome. Back to you, Matt. Yes, now let's go check in with the SPCA with their cats. Hey everyone, it's Matt here again at the SPCA with our good friend Chris Bowers. Now Chris, we have a very special cat here today with us. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about her? Yeah, sure. Uh, we have a Teletubby with us here today. She's uh, been here for about 180 days or so. Uh, so one of our longest residents. Uh, I mean, 
Uh, I could tell you a lot about her, but I, I think she, she'd she be better at it. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. Uh, Teletubby, do you want to just uh, speak your mind a little bit here? Hi, my name is Teletubby. I've been waiting for someone special to come and take me home. I may seem a little shy, but once I warm up to you, I promise I'm a playful and loving companion. I absolutely adore attention. Once I feel comfortable, I'll be your shadow. I'll follow you around, purr in your ear, and show you how much I appreciate you. Playtime is my favorite. I'd love to have a family with children who will play with me and shower me with love. So if you're looking for a playful and loving companion who will bring joy to your home, please consider adopting me, Teletubby. Well, there you have it. Very cute words by a very cute kitty. Now, if you want to get yourself a cutie, come on down to the SPCA now. Uh, Teletubby's available right now, here. Yes, absolutely. You can come meet her anytime. Uh, and if you have some interest, fill out an application. And you can play with her in this lovely new room. Yeah. Come on down and support your local SPCA today. Matt's back in the studio as well to talk about what Shaw Spotlight has going on this month as well. Thanks, Maddie. Looking good. We've got a few things going on with Shaw Spotlight this month, so let's get to it. First up, it's our monthly content creators and coffee meeting. It's uh, a time for people in the community who are in video and content creation to get together and uh, kind of network and plan uh, what they want to do next. So it's open to everybody. You don't actually have to be a content creator or a video person. Uh, if you have an idea or if you want to get involved, come on out and uh, meet some people in town. We'd, lo we'd love to hang out. We've also got a couple new shows coming up on the channel. Uh, Par for the Cause with myself and Sean Kreitz hosting, where we play a round of golf with nonprofits in the community. Kind of a fun way to learn about what they do. So if you're a nonprofit or you know a nonprofit that you think should be featured on the show, uh, give us a call or an email. Information's on the bottom of your screen. We've also got Fit to Work starring the trainers at McDonald Island Park. They'll be going through different workouts that you can do for your actual job. Um, that we're going to help you stay away from injury and actually perform better. So that's coming up probably in the next month or so, so stay tuned for that. And if you want to put forward an idea of, for your job or somebody else's job that you think would be good on the show, you can also contact us with all the information at the bottom of your screen as well. Back to you, Maddie. Awesome. Now let's see what else is going on in the region this month. What's up, Fort Mac? I am Leafy Greens at the Wood Buffalo Food Bank here to tell you about what's going on for the month of June. Well, it's Pride Month and we want to participate just as much as the rest of you. And we have empty bowls coming up for the end of August. But for Pride Month, we're going to do the paint and drag event at the Smoke and Butcher. It's going to be featuring the Oil Royals. They're going to do a drag show, some performances. Yeah! And you get to paint a bowl to contribute to the bowls for our Empty Bowl Festival. How many times can I say Empty Bowl Festival in one bit? bit? That's many of them. It'll be on June 30th, tickets available. Contact us at the food bank to get yours. We look to see you all there. Have a great weekend, Fort Mac. Yes! Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Makey. I'm the communications coordinator with the Multicultural Association of Wood Buffalo. On June 3rd, we have our Multiculturalism Day Festival at Heritage Park from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm really excited about this event because if you've been to our Multicultural Expo this past February or even in years previous, you'll know a little bit of what to expect. It's gonna be outside this time, so unlike the Multicultural Expo where that's inside, you're gonna be outside at Heritage Park where you can enjoy various cultural foods from all over the world as well as cultural performances and there will also be activities for you and your family to enjoy from face painting, henna, balloon art and this year we even have a bouncy castle. More information on how you can get involved with that, come out and participate or be a part of it or just experience it, you can visit us at mcawb.org forward slash Canadian dash multiculturalism dash day. This month we are gearing up for Canada Day festivities and would like to invite all cultural groups in the Wood Buffalo region to join MCA as we take part in this year's Canada Day Parade. If you're interested in applying for that, you can do so over at bit.ly forward slash MCA Canada Day Parade. Deadline to apply for that is June 9th. Hey there, let me tell you what's going on in June at the Borealis Paddling Club. 
Well, hey, if you've been looking uh, at the weather, this beautiful summer, uh, warm spring weather we've been having, and you've been thinking to yourself, man, I wish there was a great, safe, low impact way to enjoy our beautiful place we call home. Well, have I got news for you. We've got a great calendar of events uh, in June for the Borealis Paddling Club. Uh, this month coming up on June 2nd is National Donut Day, and we'll be having an early morning paddle, leaving from the Sny and doing a little donut shaped circle around the islands and coming back uh, before work starts and enjoying some donuts. Every Wednesday uh, throughout the summer, you can see us right here at the Sny uh, for beginner friendly paddles. Um, everyone is welcome, all abilities are welcome. It's a great time just to meet other paddlers, uh, discover some of the beautiful nature we have here and maybe even learn some new skills or practice some old ones. Uh, further along in the month, June 17th to 18th, the club will be taking a drive down to the beautiful uh, boreal uh, wonder of Crow Lake, uh, just an hour and a half south of town. It's a car camping overnight with lots of opportunity to see wildlife, do some birding, and the lake is designated as paddle only, so uh, it's pretty low on hazards and it's just a great time to have a relaxing weekend. And then looking towards the end of the month, June 26th is National Canoe Day, my favorite day of the whole year. And we're gonna have a number of great events, including a morning paddle, an evening paddle at the Sny, and a social as well. All that information and more about all the events in June can be found at our website, borealispaddlingclub.com. And you can just look under the events tab to see what's coming up. Uh, anyone can be a member. We welcome members of all uh, abilities and ages, and we will work with you to make sure you feel safe and confident on our waterways. Well, hi, Port Beck. This is Jamal from Kidsport with Buffalo, and I'm here to tell you about a one of its kind event that we are organizing for Kidsport with Buffalo on June 10th. It's, called, it's a mini Comic Con for the whole family, and it's called the Fan Expo, happening at Shell Place on June 10th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we got uh, a cosplay red carpet show, uh, a vendor showcase, a kid zone that offers bouncy castles, face painting. Um, a Zen Zone and Scavenger Hunt, a day you definitely do not want to miss. So come with your friends and with your family. Uh, tickets are on sale right now. Uh, other than that, we also have exclusive merch that will be available in limited quantities to mark the first ever FAM Expo for Fort McMurray. Um, in conjunction with the FAM Expo, we also have two gaming workshops that are being offered by Keanu Huskies Esports as a partnership. Spots are extremely limited and they will go fast. The best part is you get to dress up in any character of your choice. So grab your costumes, put something together and attend the FAM Expo on June 10th. We can't wait to host you. See you then. Hiya Puddin, Ash Kate Cosplay here, one of the hosts of the FAM Expo YMM Cosplay Red Carpet Extravaganza. We're looking forward to seeing you in your favorite cosplay at FAM Expo YMM for the Red Carpet Experience. Come on down dressed as your favorite character from film, TV, comics, games, and more. We would love to see you out there and you can strut your stuff on the red carpet with the rest of some amazing cosplayers right here in Fort McMurray. We can't wait to see you there. Bye. And that does it for another episode of What's Up Fort Mac, June edition. A big thank you to Pride YMM and Mitch Bowers coming and doing my makeup, doing everything you see here. Uh, and we'll see you again next month.